Good morning. Today we're heading back up the coast. We had some little breakfast, um, some sausage left over from yesterday, potatoes, onions, fried up, chopped up with a steamed egg. Perfect. It's a perfect way to start the day. And uh, we got the Sea Cortez to go check out today, so I'm gonna hit that up. Let's do this. Maybe it's just because of how yesterday it turned out, but this is the best road I've ever driven. It is so smooth. the touristy town of San Felipe. It's also pretty much abandoned today, so I don't know what that's all about, but uh, we're checking out the market. I'm gonna see about getting some ceviche. I don't know, just take a walk around. Hey Sarah, thanks for the uh, thanks for the drink recommendations. They're really sensible. Yeah, for... I wanted to be conservative, you know. So because we're not big drinkers in our family, so. Jesus.
Good, good evening. We uh, crossed back into California. I know Baja was kind of short. I've learned some valuable lessons. Um, I thought I'd, I thought I'd share some of those lessons with you guys right about now. First off, yes, there's Wi-Fi all across Baja, and you can find it, and um, you shouldn't freak out about stuff like that. But also, B, no, you should also freak out about it and have an actual proper plan because literally. Half the spots that I had researched just weren't there anymore because that's what happens in Baja, apparently. Um, the roads really are that bad, yes, but they're also that good. There are sections of road that are fantastic. There are sections of road I wouldn't even call a road. So, like, an off-roading vehicle would have been amazing, but also, like, up-to-date information on any of the roads would also have been amazing. I don't know how to get that. That'll be something I need to learn how to do. Um, other things, Baja, man, it was super safe. We went through, I think, like maybe a dozen military checkpoints the whole time we were down there. And each and every time, friendly, pretty good looking, young military guys who were super nice. And uh, Sarah flirted with every single one of them and got us through just no problem. So that was great. Um, Sia Cortez, no good surfing. Uh, maybe there is, I don't know, but it's all on the Pacific side, so yeah, I'll have to hit up surfing in California. Yeah, the gas, no problem with the gas. Actually, the exact same price in gas everywhere. I'm pretty sure that's because it's government controlled, but I'm not 100%. Also, we went to the same exact gas station everywhere, and I didn't really see anything else other than a couple guys with like jugs on the side of the road. So yeah, that's another thing. Gas, don't really worry about it. I had no problems. It was uh, roughly a little bit cheaper than it is in, back in Canada. So probably just a little bit more expensive than it is in California. But yeah, man, like it was just honestly, it was a short jaunt and it had its ups and it had its downs. And it really s cemented in my mind that I have a lot to learn about traveling in countries outside of Canada, outside of America, outside of my comfort zone. Uh, Mexico felt a lot akin to traveling in Italy. Um, except for I had an even harder time with the language than I did in Italy, so don't ask me why. Maybe I'm just dumb when it comes to Spanish. But, uh, yeah, big learning lesson. Really glad I went. Big adventure. But uh, now we still have a few more days to travel through California with Sarah, and that's what we're going to do. So tonight we're at Glamis Dunes. We're going to make some curry here. We're going to maybe have a campfire. And, uh, yeah, take it easy tonight. Awesome.